Another way creature creators bring movie monsters to life is stop-motion animation. In 1933, King Kong, the most famous monster of all time, was brought to life by Willis O'Brien. After half a century, this basic technique is still effectively used. On Ghostbusters, I was called in to see the Terror Dog characters. I redesigned them based on their concepts and then uh, sculpted uh, the miniature stop-motion puppet, which is a quarter scale. Uh, oversaw the uh, sculpting that Mike Hosh led of the larger full-size versions because they worked both as stop-motion puppets and as full-size on-set props. And then uh, actually did the animation of the uh, characters when they were running around and leaping and doing all that sort of thing. Stop motion's a process that utilizes the uniqueness of the movie-making illusion, where you uh, actually are seeing a series of still images projected in rapid succession to give the illusion of movement. With stop motion, you fool the mind by shooting a succession of still images in what you infer would be the uh, increments that they would appear had this character you're pushing around been moving in the real world, in real time. When you're ready to shoot the frame, you turn on the camera controller. It interlocks the camera and the projector. This character is photographed after the live action has been photographed. You shoot a frame of the uh, creature in conjunction with a single frame of movie film projected behind it. There are all sorts of ways uh, to bring creatures to life, of course. Stop motion is one of many. Puppetry is the